But well, has it always been like this? Because I can imagine when, uh, well, after Living Targets, when you have such a good songwriter, then he is the boss in the studio, or? He, uh, he don't, uh, no. I think he, he comes with ideas that, and then he, um, he starts the game, you know, like when he, uh, he, he Thomas is always the one uh, who, um, he makes a lot of demos, demos. Uh, he, he's just making constantly, he writes, you know. So I always come with five and he comes with 10 or 20 demos, you know, and uh, so he always starts the, come on, bring it on, bring some ideas, you know, he starts the game. And then, uh, and then the thing starts. Sometimes we play like Milk and Honey, for example, new record. It's uh, the instrumental was was written by Thomas, and then but he had no words or lyrics. So and then we worked together on words and lyrics. The Peter and Bernd was coming up with the the solo and the guitars. So we all joined, and sometimes demos arrive and we're like, okay, let's play it. Is that good, you know? So we always—it's—it's not—it's not, it's not always the same way to, where where songs go, you know. Songs go really like woo, that road, that road, that road. So it's was a bit unpredictable. It, was it hard uh, to record this album if you compare the recordings of the previous albums? No. No, it was a bit. E I think it was a bit easier. It, it took a long time to get into it because we had a break. Uh, and uh, but uh, once we decided, we go. We recorded in the practice room. We recorded in the practice room and bought some uh, equipment and just recorded there. Uh, then it was recorded in two months. I think. What did you What did you do during the break? Because you had a, uh, well, I think this is four years after your previous album, yeah. a new album. Yeah. And if I look at the previous albums, then there's all two or three year time gap between. Yeah. But this is the, the album that, that took the most time to, yeah. to come out. What did you do during the break? Uh, home. Be honest. Family, you know. Yeah. Uh, home, like, uh, you know, okay. It was a year off. It was not, you know, we put Living Targets out and we toured one and a half years. And then we put out uh, a double life CD and a DVD and toured another year. So, and we had a year off, okay? So in that year, it took me two months to just get out of bed. And then uh, I started seeing some friends getting very fat. Uh, the beginning of the seventh month, I start doing a lot of sport, and at the twelfth, I, I just called everybody. And said, Can we please skip back into the fucking room? Do you have a wife and children? I have a girlfriend. Girlfriend, so no children. No children. But there are a few me members of the yes. band that got children. Yeah. So what did that do to the band? What they to now? What 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 did it bring to the band? What sort of what sort of atmosphere? What sort of? It's great. Uh, it's. Uh, I love it. I love it so much. It's, uh, I don't know, it's just the way it goes. You know, I grew up in a circus, there were kids all around. Uh, you know, it was, it, it's not like, oh, the big rock and roll thing is over now. N not at all. You know, we always, it was always, I always admired the big rock and rollers, like Springsteen or Tom Petty. They all have kids. And they still do it, and they still put out great music. So it's and sometimes they they start getting very, very good. You know, when the when the when the serious life begins. <laughs> so I don't know. It's I really like it. I love it. 